day. Look at this. It's God's creation right here in Wild Dakota. It just doesn't get right. any better than that. You know, once a year, Vern, it's always fun to do a trolling show with crankbaits. And today we're going to be using lead core, get those crankbaits in a little deeper water. But Vern, I have a special guest for the folks. Um, he is the owner and co-founder of Relevant Glasses. Those are pretty nice glasses you're wearing, Bert. These are wow glasses, I tell you folks. Wait Truly you amazing. See them. Here's Mr. Adam Winkleman. Adam, Bert, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for joining nice us you, today, Adam. Thank you. And one of the things we want to do here, folks, today is showcase these glasses. These glasses truly are amazing, and as Vern said, Wow, that's the first thing people say. I sell them in my uh, JT Outdoors Pro Shop. Yeah. I can't keep them in stock. People just love them. And uh, there's another thing that's really, really special. Now, uh, this is called Predator Vision for crankbaits. And Relevant is putting a special coating on these lures that predators can see over paint. Would you say six to one? Yeah, it's six to one hits, uh, 10 to one hits. I mean, not only are we getting more hits, but we're getting more aggressive hits and we're getting bigger fish, which has been really interesting yeah. trifecta. Yeah. So we're really, really excited to show you this showcase. Adam, tell us a little bit about these glasses yep. real quick yep. for the folks, yep. and then we'll talk about it when we're out fishing too. Sure, sure. Well, at the end of the day, I've been in optical for a couple decades, and we wanted to marry some technologies together that I have always lived independently. We've had polarization, photochromicity, elite optical quality. The lenses are not glass or poly, they're made out of Tribex. So it's really creating the best optical solution. Marry that with a very comfortable frame that gives you the wrap that you might want or the lightweight that you want, things like that. So really taking the angler, taking the outdoor activities as a starting point and building a solution for it. So. Awesome, well we're really excited to have you in the boat and look excited at who we've got here setting up our cameras. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm excited for this. Today, we're going to do something even new. We're stepping it up. We're going to run seven instead of five. So we're, no matter what angle happens, we, from right now, we have six hours and 20 minutes of memory card to let whatever happen, happen. I and hope we I won't can miss get it. you on a few fish in six hours. Let's go fishing. Got Let's it. it. Let's go. All right. So, we're going to run five. This is the awkward pause. Yeah where uh, nothing's really happening, so stay right there. We'll be right back with more Wild Dakota relevant in our favorite American Family Insurance agent. Yep, these are pretty cool. fishing 8 to 12 feet to start and we're gonna have two lead core rods out the back I'd like you to put about 45 to 55 feet out the back now the line counter batteries I went with the electronic line counters on my long monofilament rods the batteries are out so what you want to do is you want to measure how far do a swoop that's six feet we're gonna let out about 60 feet 50 to 60 feet so count 10 when you pull out that's the way we used to do it before line counters <laughs> so basically uh, we're gonna work the shallows early there's some wind coming into this little bay here the fish are hanging deep I've got lead core we're gonna go real deep Later, as the sun gets higher and these fish move out, we're gonna go deep, but we're gonna start early in the shallow. And the fish are here. <laughs> So what we're 
we're doing here is we're actually emitting light in um, in this particular case, this is a natural predator, predator vision. And so we're emitting light actually in um, areas that the human eye can't see, but um, predator fish have the ability to see. It emulates um, both their their vision trigger, but also that's based on um, the prey, right? So the prey fish and how they emit uh, different wavelengths of light is uh, an important thing to be able to understand so that you can you know, get a little bit uh, a little bit tighter to what the natural habitats out there, and as we discussed, you know it's early days, but we're we're recognizing um, multiple, multiple more strikes, and more intense strikes, and bigger fish. So it's been a lot of fun. So we're going to put it to the test today, and you're going to just see it personally how it works. You want these at 50? You said or 55? 55. Yep. Okay. We're okay. Fishing. Here you go. Okay, fish, left, oh, we got it, we got one, got one, got one, got one. Oh, we do. There, oh, that's a big fish there. Wow. Is that fast enough for you, or you want to just a little <laughs> Well, you know, you're always telling me we got a fish on. And I, here we go. You thought I was pulling your leg, huh? Oh, that's yeah. a nice one here. Yeah. It's an order. Yes, it's an order. Okay, stop reeling, bring it to the net. There you go. First fish. Look at that. What did that oh, take, about uh, seconds? <laughs> that uh, was in nanoseconds. What well, makes that fun on that relevant lure? That fish absolutely smashed it. Vern... Got a knee hooker, Mike? Yeah. Oh, I can get it. Vern cried wolf earlier and said fish on when we didn't yeah. even have a rod in the water. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> here he goes again, boy cried wolf. I can't see what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's the crazy part is you can't take him serious, can you? <laughs> There she is, that's the first one. <laughs> you got your tally counter so we know how many fishies we got today? Or are we doing box fish? Here you go, Mike. All right, dude. Love you, sir. Nice job. Hey, we got one, huh? We're couple. on the board already. It took a couple seconds. If you want to catch snot rockets, we got the lure for you. <laughs> God rest his soul, that's what Scotty called him. Yeah, there you go. He did it, right? didn't he? Yeah. That's a pretty popular nickname, though, too. Yeah. If that happens again, I'm getting me a bucket of them redoers. <laughs> You're just like my uncle. He goes nuts for it. He would, he would probably chastise me for putting that fish back in the water right now. <laughs> that was a good pickler. It was a good pickler. That's what he'd say. That'll pickle. <laughs> Crazy how something as simple as a speed change can trigger. Right. Oh, here, that's a nice one. Another Another pickling northern there. Oh, we got another one. A bird. <laughs> a double. Here, Vern, aim the camera. Yeah. Okay, nice and easy, Vern. Oh, a better one, V Dog. No. A different flavor. Walleye. Yeah. Here we go. Just flip him, do an old pet flip, Vern. Hey, you know what? There you go, Vern. Look at that. On a relevant crankbait. Yeah. That's Grab that. two yeah. pike and a walleye in probably what about five minutes' time. That's pretty impressive. That's Say, pretty Adam, impressive. you want to send me a bucket of them lures? A bucket of the lures. Yeah. yeah. The address PO box. Maybe some vertical wraps too for icing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that now. It's just about that you're seeing cheese. Oh, that's perfect. Now, this is a 
no. So we got like a 12, 13 inch here, and if you want a good eater, this is actually the perfect one. Uh, where's that cookout at? It? Whoa! That would have been quick. Here, we got the, the clam net here for you. Never let you go in. <laughs> Watch that finger. Watch where we're going here. And again, so just my opinion. So we have a 13, 14 inch fish here. There's nothing wrong with keeping these. Uh, I'm more apt to let a larger fish go 20 inches plus. So Vern and Jeff want a fresh meal. We're gonna make sure they get one. You know the only thing bad about this time of year, Michael? What's that? Because we're not gonna fill up an ice cream pail full of uh, asparagus on the way home. <laughs> but uh, we are looking for fish to put on the table and that's gonna do it. Okay. This is a good fish. 
Slimming at us, slimming at us. Coming in hot. Oh, pretty ball. Good one, good one. Yeah. There we yeah. go. There we go. All right, JP. Beautiful fish, Jeffrey. Now, I ain't saying I'm a pro because I'll take luck over good any day. That's right. But I'll tell you what, all I've been reeling in are walleyes. Right. That's a good one. This is a pretty good one, yeah. A little bit bigger. Yeah. Nice fish, JB. Yeah, we'll, we'll run with that. I'm happy with that. Cool. And uh, I guess I'm just slamming up Mike's boat because I'm really, really, really good at it. Yeah, he likes to do it. I do. There it is, there it is. Fish on. <laughs> Fish on. Nice. Where you want it? Oh. Flip burn reel this one. Yep. Put your feet there, Rick. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. You're in my net. Get out of the net, Burn. You're in <laughs> yeah, the net. Yeah, just a minute. I got to move. I don't want to fall. You're in the net. Now you're on the net. <laughs> I got a big sucker here. That's right. A big sucker? <laughs> All right, Burn, fish on. It's pulling. It's pulling, This Burn. is a big one. Oh, it is a big one. Better slow down a little bit, huh? Yeah. I can't hardly reel them in. I got to lose. There you oh, go. Look at there. Whoa. Right, that's that a good one. On this rod, too. Got it. Here, get him. Got it. Double, that's a good, uh, that's a walleye, isn't it? No, northern. Oh, northern. I thought I saw a white fin. Good northern, no? Yeah. No, it's big northern. Good northern. Keep your head in the water. Keep your net doubler down. Ed's unhooked already, man. Oh, oh thanks, Crapper. Flip him in. Oh, Woo! yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. That's a tough one. Oh, burned off. All right. All right. What do you think of fishing in South Dakota? It yeah. does, it, you know, as we say at home, this doesn't suck. <laughs> well, I tell you what, folks. What a way to end our show. And what oh, we say in Wild Dakota, Adam, is... Fish hard, fish safe, have a successful season. We'll see you next time right here on Wild Dakota, where we're born free, we live wild, and we're yeah, proud to, to be a <laughs> More fish. Oh, there you go, D. Mike, you say that like you've said it before. More fish. <laughs> there you go, old That's bee. another good gator, yeah. Out in the wilds and out in the woods, our family, our faith, Dakota Brotherhood. Out in the wild.